Oh, these Texas road stops kill me. They're hilarious. Everything in Texas, it really is bigger. The RV park that I stayed at, the pool was in the shape of Texas. Like, Texas, what are you doing? Oh my God. What the hell are you gonna do in the corners of that pool? It was the most fabulous, worthless pool design I've ever seen. But everything is just so Texas. Uh, th that bathroom, I don't think I've ever gone back to a bathroom just to get footage of their cowboy water spitting thing. And the, it, it looked like either the tackiest Venetian, Tuscan-esque uh, casino in Las Vegas. Uh, or it's Texas. It's just, I love it. And, and the people here are phenomenal. Houston, I got nothing for you. Houston, if you even look at a road in Houston, they will charge you to be on it. I have never spent so much money to get away from a city. It's toll, 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 toll. It was crazy. And maybe someone can answer this, but why are there so many cars towing other cars? in Texas. All along the highways, there's these little cars towing sometimes two other cars. It's a bizarre phenomenon. Someone from Texas needs to answer that. Anyway, let's quick, um, now that I'm here just absolutely loving the Texas countryside, uh, look at all the lint on this. That's disgusting. I can't, we'll deal with that later. Anyway, let's talk about uh, gas mileage and fuel and how to save money doing that because uh, it's painful. When you're moving as much as I am, you're going to spend gobs and gobs of money on gas. A lot of people have asked me what the gas mileage uh, on the van is after everything went in it. I have no idea. Um, I don't want to know. It's, it's not horrible. I definitely thought that I would be filling up more often than I am, and I'm not. Um, so it's, it's not terrible. It's not awesome, but it's, it's not horrible. And I try, I try not to look because I find that when I start to get obsessive about the cost of fuel and how much I'm filling up and, you know, I like, I won't go the extra mile to go to another location or, um, and that, I don't want to shortchange my trip. So I knew that this was going to be part of the budget and I just try not to obsess too much about gas mileage, and then when I'm in a city, um, I try to walk as much as possible. Anyway, um, so I didn't completely fill up here, but this was like $35, and I still had a quarter of a tank. It's usually between like $40 and $55 to fill the tank up completely. Um, but what I have been saving money on is a couple things. Number one, Shell, Shell has a five cent back cash rewards program and it's not something where you have to hold a card or sign up and get a million emails you do it once you punch in your information and then you type in your phone number every time you go to a shell station and you get five cents back immediately like right there and that has been pretty great and if there's another gas station that's cheaper than you know the discount with the five cents and I'll just go there but in this case there's a bunch of them where I am that are $2.39 a gallon, and so I just get five cents for doing absolutely nothing besides picking the Shell station. So that has been very helpful. The second thing that's been helpful, and I'll put a link to it in the comment section underneath the video, is it's an app, uh, and it's it didn't work beautifully in rural America, but in cities, if you wherever you are, if you punch up the app, it will show you participating gas stations and then what your discount will be if you take a picture of the receipt and send it to the app. And then it takes your discount and throws it into a PayPal account that you can get later. I've had, I've had some gr great success with that app in that I've gotten like five bucks off a, a full tank uh, and then other times it's like one cent off a gallon um, but I'll put a link to that below I think if you're in more metropolitan areas it gives you more options but uh, and if I could remember it right now without stopping this video I would tell you the name of it but I can't so you're just gonna have to look in the comment section to figure out about this great thing that I'm telling you about and then the last thing to save on fuel uh, is my credit card company is Bank of America and I think um, a lot of different credit card companies do this but Bank of America uh, their cash rewards every month they let you pick what you want to get 3% back on so when I was building the van 
uh, I used it for online purchases and then once I got on the road I switched it to fuel and so now uh, I'm just gonna get 3% back every time I fill up no matter what which is great so between those things um, I because I'm moving around so much I'm spending gobs and gobs of money on gas but uh, that was that's what I picked you know I've, <laughs> I I I'm not to rag on the other van channels because we're all a big family, but I just don't see the point if you're going to build something that has four wheels to park it in a campground and stay there for weeks or months on end. I mean, get a tent or build a building. Like, I built this so I could see the country. So, a high gas expense is part of the deal, and you all have just been outrageously generous between PayPal and Patreon. I'm watching these videos to help me out with that. 100% of that money either goes in this fuel tank or this fuel tank and it's keeping this damn thing going. So let's get on the road. I am about 50 miles to my next destination and hopefully someone will tell me why everybody's towing everybody else. And Texas, here we come. I'll see you on the next video.